Uh, I really hate this guy. You got no respect for others. I told him to lay off all these statues. <laughs> but did he listen? No. Oh, Jim, what took you so long? It's dark out already. Hey, sorry, Jim. I had all these big boxes on the truck. I couldn't get to them, they were in the back. I had to wait till the end of my shift. Come on, Jim, you gotta stop being lazy. You're better than this. But, but, I I'll do better next time. All right. What's going on, Geminites? Gem Mint here, back with another statue unboxing and review. This time we have the XM Studios Green Goblin version B. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe and that notification bell so you don't miss another statue unboxing. Plus, we're doing a giveaway once we hit 110,000 subscribers. We're giving away a Batman Killing Joke CGC 9.8. Stay tuned until the end of the video, and I'll tell you what you got to do to enter in that. But for now, let's get Green Goblin out of the box. Of course, we have an art print by none other than Carlos de Toli. Beautiful art print, and I like how they incorporated Spider-Man in the background here in the moonlight. That looks great, guys. And of course, we have the other sheet that shows where all the pieces lie in the box, the package contents, plus how to register and how to assemble on the back. Now let's get these straps off, take that lid off, and unwrap all these pieces. And there are a lot of them, guys. First things first, let's look at Norman Osborn himself. Man, the mouth looks excellent. Look at the teeth. But you know we got to do that wave check. <laughs> you know he's known for them curls, and he's swimming. But uh, no, seriously, the hair detail looks great. The paint looks great. He's got a mean look on his face with those green eyes. But now let's look at his Green Goblin portrait. So this is like the little scarf that his portrait will key into, and then that'll key into the body. But man, I love that deep, dark green, those bulging yellow eyes with those dead-looking pupils. His teeth look amazing as well, man. XM has really stepped up their teeth game. Love that big ear, and I love this stitching. It reminds me of Nightmare Before Christmas with like that green stitching on his hat. That looks great, man. Nice texturing. Awesome deep purple as well. All right, and then this is the version B. The version B is just a quarter scale bust, which has two pieces of base and this piece here. I like how it has like a modernized look with those teal scales on his shoulders, and we'll see that more on the body of the main piece. But man, looks great. Nice little companion piece that you can display with him. All right, moving on over. Here's his right hand with one of his classic pumpkin bombs. And even the pumpkin gives me Nightmare Before Christmas vibes. It's like Tim Burton inspired. Love the contrast of that orange pumpkin in his purple hand. Love the folds and the wrinkles and the glove, plus the textures on there. Looks great. Here's one of his left hand options where it's just free. He's kind of guiding his throw for the pumpkin bomb. Love those green scales, they look awesome. You can still see the muscle definition underneath his costume. Different shades of greens here from light to dark. Great job here and same great glove work like on the other one. Here's the other left hand switch out option and it's giving me Jolly Green Giant vibes. But this one's gonna be where he's holding his mask for his unmasked portrait to go with that. Again, you can see the triceps, the muscle definition, the biceps, the shading. Here's a switch out right hand option. Batman inspired it seems, almost like he's holding batarangs, but they're his goblin rings or whatever you wanna call them. I like the paint job on those, man, like a dull silver. And like I mentioned before, this will key into that one arm where he's holding his mask. And I like how the mask still has those eyes and those teeth because Green Goblin's mask was always one of those how does it work kind of thing in comics for me. I like how it's drooping and it's a little bit narrow and it's just hanging downward. Again, love those big ears. I love the purple on that green. Just complements each other so well. All right, now here is the head of the Goblin Glider. Now the red paint, I think, could have been done a little bit better. It looked a little sloppy, but otherwise, pretty good. Kind of got that Goblin emblem. Here is one of his Pumpkin Bomb satchels. This part is the only mixed media on the statue, which will go around his shoulder. And you can see the little pumpkin inside. I think that's a great attention to detail there. The latches, the buckles, the leather texturing, awesome. 
Here's the trail of smoke that the goblin glider will leave behind it. I like how it's like shooting outward towards the key here and then it billows and I love the orange into yellow into gray. The sculpting looks great. It looks like it's moving. Great job. Here's a little smoke trail that's going to go on top of the pumpkin bomb. Same great transition from orange to gray. Love it. Man, I almost forgot about little Stuart Little here, a little rat that goes into the sewer on part of the base. So just a little Easter egg. Got a couple of base pieces. I'm not going to show them all. Here's one of the pieces of wood. It looks great though. The texture, the paint job looks like real wood. Little piece of rebar. Got a couple of pieces of those that we'll show more in detail during the assembly. But let's get this second layer off to expose the body and the base. Unwrap the paper and the plastic. And here we go. So this one did come with a nameplate. The last couple XM pieces I got did not have it. So nice little leather looking case. And now for the most satisfying part of this review, peeling back this plastic adhesive. There we go. Great looking nameplate though. Looks really cool. Reminds me of trading card days. Has a little kickstand here with the XM logo. You can display it next to the statue. And here's the base for that bust. It's the Tim Burton inspired pumpkin patch. Looks great though. I like the vines and the green wrapping around the middle there. All those sinister looking pumpkins with this little base here. Here's one of the goblin glider wings. I like how it has the little nod to Spider-Man and that has a raised up texture with the spider web there. I like the modernized look of this too. Looks really good. And the other wing here, you can see the paint job. It's like this dull silver look to it. You can see weathering and scratches from his battle with Spider-Man or whoever. It seems to use drone technology to be able to fly those thrusters there. This piece moves. I don't know if it's supposed to come off or not. Uh, then we have the body. Love all the different colors here. The dark purple, those lime to dark greens the shadowing but then you have the brown straps and buckles and even his brown chest piece the dark teal pieces of armor on his thighs the texture on that brown leather looks awesome the pouches look great really nice contrast of colors here and then we have the other pouch now this goes for the bust and actually it came a little bit broken one of the bottom pieces of the straps we had to get feet to glue that back together but same great attention to detail like the other one has is Kind of just like an extra one so you can use it for the bust. That's mixed media as well. And the base. So let's show the bottom with covering the cereal. This is number 49 out of only 150 for this version B. That's the thing with version B. You just get that lower edition size. And this thing is heavy. We'll take a better look at this base throughout the assembly and the review. All right. So speaking of assembly, let's put the head of the glider on first. Then we're going to go ahead and get the smoke in the back of the glider. That keys in like that. Then we have all the pieces of wood. So this piece is the only one that has that other piece on the bottom of it. Then we have a couple of flat pieces. This one with this little notch goes to the right of that first piece. Then we have the other flat piece goes right there. And this one was kind of hard to find. This one goes underneath that other plank. Then we have the rebar. So <laughs> this one's hard to find too. So there's a couple of holes right here to the left where we're going to put all these pieces of rebar. I don't know if I really need these pieces. It does add more depth once it's all assembled, but they tend to be kind of hard to find and can hit things when you're trying to move the statue. But those are the two longer pieces. And then you have these two smaller pieces. So this one goes right here. And then this one's going to key in right over there. All right, great, onto the wing. So this is the left wing that has the spider web on it. This one just magnetizes in, it's the lower half. Then the right wing has a peg that will key in right next to the other wing. And this one's gonna be raised up a little bit. And Goblin's gonna key into both of these. So he's got a peg right here and then he just notches into the left foot. So both feet are secure. All right, so remember the head sculpt. So you're going to put this little collar piece in here. Then you're going to go ahead and wrap the satchel around his shoulders. Now, this can be a little bit tricky because the angle on that peg is kind of difficult. But once you get it in, you just kind of want to adjust the strap and then you can put the head sculpt in. So we'll start with the goblin head sculpt, of course. Looking great. We'll do his left arm where he's pointing outward. Then we'll finish him off with his right hand throwing the pumpkin bomb. Awesome. 
you gotta remember to put the smoke on the top of that. And here's a look at the other switch out options with Norman holding the mask. And there we go, the smoke on top of the pumpkin. Can't forget Stuart Little, gotta put him in that sewer pipe. And there we go, guys. Green Goblin stands just shy of 26 inches. His depth is about 24 inches, and he's only about 16 inches wide. Version B that comes with that quarter scale bust retails $1,050 with that low edition size of 150. Version A retails about $950, and there's still a low edition size, only 238. This piece was designed and sculpted by the Chew Trick Brothers. Man, we've reviewed a lot of their stuff lately. All right, guys, there we have it, Green Goblin by XM Studios. I really like how they made the base match the other villains from this line with these red bricks and all these wood planks. So if you have, like, Vulture, for instance, it's going to companion really well. A lot going on in this piece, all this debris and rubble. And then you have his glider, which is like a modernized take on it, plus the smoke coming out of the back. And then you have Goblin himself chock full of detail when you're dealing with k bros you're dealing with high detail love how they went so specific with the buckles and the straps and the leather the pouches all the different types of scales from the green scales on his costume to those teal armor scales that are on his thighs and shoulders portraits look great teeth look great let me know what you think about them in the comments down below like I said, we're doing a giveaway for our 110,000 subscriber milestone where we're giving away a Batman Killing Joke CGC 9.8. All you got to do is be subscribed and comment on this video and any other video where I promoted the giveaway. Once we reach the milestone, we'll pick a random video and choose a random comment via a comment generator to draw a worldwide winner. If you guys want to support the channel in other ways, please consider joining our membership program by hitting the join button next to the subscribe. There's three different tiers. You'll get a gem next to your name, early access to all the videos, and you'll be entered into a drawing for a gem crate every month. We also have t-shirts and hoodies on our Teespring account. The link's in the description for that. And also, our partners at Street Level Hero have amazing exclusive variant covers with new drops every Tuesday and Thursday. If you use the code GEMMINT at checkout, you'll save 10% on any item you order, and you can use that code every time you shop there. That's slhla.com. I appreciate you guys watching, but don't go anywhere. Check out my other statue unboxing and reviews, and stay minty fresh. Peace.